Hey folks, Arash and Rosa here and welcome to Minecraft Survival. In today's episode, we take on a few tasks, like finding some birch and some spruce trees, just so we can build things like this. So let's get to it. Alright, so let's get started with this. So, first thing we are going to need to do is actually get a bucket of lava. Which shouldn't be too hard considering we have a massive lava field fairly close by to us. So let's jump down here. Oh, well, I missed it. Where am I going? All the way over here. Oh, some redstone there I could get. Right, here we go. Some lava. Now, is there any of these flowing ones I can get? Because they will be the, the bane of me trying to do some mining and things like that. So getting rid of them fairly quickly would be a lot better. No, <laughs> that's not a single flow of lava, that's a whole pole. What about this one? Yes, I, th I hope, yes, that was a single thing of lava, perfect, that's what we need. Alright, so next thing I'm going to need is some trap doors, I'm going to need a good amount of chests, probably four will do fine. And then I need a load of hoppers as well. Oh, yeah, I need to create more chests. We'll jump down here. And I think I will pop this here. Yeah, pop the chest like so. Perfect. And then I can pop this here like this and that opens and closes like that. And then I just need, right, so I need blocks here to cover this. And then I'll do this as well, just in case. And then up here needs to be the lava and then along here needs to be the water and I don't want an accidental obsidian block or anything like that so I'm going to be very very wary of this uh, I also need a slab there I'm going to do this real quick Okay. Oh, there's a slime. Right, I need some water now. I'll take a stair. Yeah, I need a stair as well. So that I can block off this. There we go. Right, water. Now I need to get some water. Alright, so I need to get into this corner here. Pop that like that. And then I can pop that back there. So this here is a cobblestone generator. Uh, I've... There we go. And I need to put that... There. Ah, oh, that's what I've done now. You don't go there. You go there. Yes. Right, okay. So I can get a few blocks out. And this will just generate cobblestone for me, which is what I really am needing. I would rather have stone, but obviously I don't have a silk touch pickaxe, which I think we should go and try aim for right now. Okay, so first attempt is silk touch. Really? Why did I do this to myself? It is just silk touch? Oh, 
Right, what's next? Fortune 3. Uh, we might get on breaking with that, so I think a quick few hits with this. Get our XP back up to 30. Run that enchantment and see what we get with it. I would love Unbreaking 3 Efficiency 4 on it, but if I can't get it, it's absolutely fine. Efficiency 4, that's not too bad. Not what I want, but Efficiency 4. All right, second time. That's good. That's exactly what I need. So that is... I've got a Silk Touch pickaxe. Nice. Efficiency 4, which is not too bad. But that just allows me to mine some stone rather than having to smelt a lot of stone, like the cobblestone and things like that. That's one of the problems with mining with a fortune pickaxe. You get the cobblestone, it uses up a lot more resources than it would if you're just mining stone. So there we go, three stone, and I can run this for a while, get a whole load of stone without actually having to mine up in the areas up above, and I can just use this for mining for diamonds whenever I need them. This will help with a lot of my builds, especially the four and anything else that I can think of. So I'm going to run this for a wee while, get a whole load of stone and hopefully get a build over this mine shaft because I did put something in, but I do not like it. Yeah, I put this in, it just doesn't feel mine shafty to me, it just feels like it's a random building, and even at that, it is a horrible looking building. So, I do want to try and get something built for this and i just feel like i can do it a lot lot better okay it's been less than like 10 minutes really don't think it's been that long but this thing's overpowered like what's that that's 10 and a half stacks yeah over over 10 and a half stacks in like 10 minutes this thing's like stupidly good and another thing before we go on, if you are playing on the mod pack and it does have tweakaroo on it, if you go into your tweaks and you type in tool, you can tweak, swap almost broken tools. So you never break a tool. It's handy as anything. We are done. I have now got an efficiency five silk touch pickaxe and I do need to repair it. So we're going to jump out. I'm going to check this. Oh, nice. I can come over here and pop the stuff in here. Awesome. So we've got four double chests filled with st stone. Thank you. And then we've got this one as well, which is a lot for however long we've been in there. That's what, three full pickaxes? So a good couple of thousands of blocks, which is really, really what I wanted. So, okay, a new pickaxe made. Like so, and then I can jump in here, and if I wiggle, so that's 26 to enchant, but if I do it this way, it's only 9. So, come over here, and just wait for some skeleton to pop in. Alright, we've got 9 now, so let's turn that off, and repair the silky touch pickaxe. Nice, and that's pretty much us done for the stone and things like that i do want to get building the new building up for up top but i have no idea what i want to do with it yet because i did want something kind of miney almost but like i just don't know and that's really bugging me at the moment because like it's not into a hill so i can't do like a mine shaft entrance there's going to be night time soon so I should really sleep i do need to repair this guy though so we'll do that. All right, I've got something that's a little bit better. I will expand onto it. So I do need some torches there just to brighten it up. It is lit up, so that's fine and dandy for me. But yeah, it's basic. I've left these open because for aesthetic reasons, because gases can rise from a mine which are deadly, and if airflow isn't open, then it'll gather and then explode when it touches a torch. Now, that doesn't actually happen in Minecraft, but that's the idea behind it. So let's jump down here, and I will put some things away. Now, I had to install the trail mode. If you want the trail mode installed, you can let me know and I will add it, but it annoys me that I can't randomly pick blocks 
with Tweakaroo. It doesn't work for some reason. So again, I have installed this mod. It just helps me get building. So yeah, but then I realized I wanted to try and build with some andesite as well, but I don't have a lot of andesite. The only way I'm going to get that is by actually mining properly in the, the strip mine of the stone area and hopefully, hopefully getting a load of andesite because it would just help a wee bit more for me. So the next thing I want to get on to is actually building a simple tree farm. Now I've come off off to the north of our little village here and we have a large area of grass here which is kind of perfect for what I kind of want to do. So I'm going to clear a lot of this land, take away the top layer of dirt here or the grass and flatten it all out so that we have a massive area for a lot of tree farming and this will be our tree farming area. So we've got all of this sort of area here, I might extend it all the way out, just need to get a lot more dirt which is probably something I'm going to figure out in the later episode, but that will be having a massive area off in the distance where we can dig up a load of dirt. Just going to cover the area from what I can excavate just now in this wee bit, and we will see what happens. So let's get to it. Okay, so I have set out this large area of land here. Uh, it's probably not finished. I probably will expand more off in that direction once we get a lot more trees. But right now, what we are doing is for oak trees which is going to be one of the main components of a lot of our builds around here so we're going to start right here and we're going to go up nine blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we're going to take an oak slab and pop that right on top here like so so that's nine blocks high and the tenth block is a half slab perfect and then i can take some torches here oh There we go, and then right here actually, I am going to take out a chunk like so, grab more of the slabs and pop them around like this. So this just gives us a marker for where the middle of this is, and it just means it's easier for us to pop down a tree like so. And I'm going to do this a few times now, and we're going to go from this block, we're going to miss two, and then we're going to do it again like so. Okay, so we're done the first part of this. So this is specifically designed for nine blocks high, well ten blocks high, so that we can have seven blocks of logs plus two blocks of leaves just above it so we can get the maximum amount of blocks, or logs sorry, without having those ski whiffy oak trees appear. So this just eliminates those annoying trees that you've got to try and climb up and take apart. So this is a basic sort of tree farm. I'm going to have this one. I'm probably going to have birch. Um, try to think what other single trees are. I don't really think there are. No. So we've got oak, we've got birch, and then we'll have the two by two trees, which are spruce and jungle. And then we can have the dark oak. And then it would be the mangrove. Oh, cherry. Don't forget the cherry, cherry logs. But that means we need to go and look for all of these trees, which, to be honest, I do not think are anywhere close by. Time to go exploring. Now, I think on this direction, if we just gallop along, we'll find some tiger biomes, we'll find some birch biomes. So that will give us spruce, it will give us birch trees. And hopefully we can find a few other trees along the way, like jungle, dark oak. I don't know about cherry, but it is off in this direction. And thankfully we have our horse with us, so we can... Oh, almost made it. So yeah, we can just gallop along and find everything. I brought some dirt blocks with me just to... Whoa. That's a big canyon. Yeah, I brought some dirt blocks along with me just in case we need to build up or anything like that for the horse, make some bridges, anything like that, because there is a lot of kind of ravines around here and it is fairly dangerous. Anyway, let's gallop on and see what we can find. All right, so we are done. We're back. So I've got the birch here planted like this, and I hope to expand that all the way down. I've separated these by three blocks just so that we don't get any join in the leaves and then over here we've got a, a row for cherry 
trees and then we've got rows for azalea trees because I'm going to need a lot of rooty dirt so this is probably one of the better ways to do it and I have set up the spruce here like so now this is four block wide gap here and then it's a three block wide gap here on ease and this takes it a four by four because it grows up extremely high and we don't need as much rows of these as we do the other ones because of that because you can get over a stack and sometimes in these trunks and then obviously when the leaves decay we get a whole load of saplings as well oh it's my horse and then I just expand with jungle trees, the dark oak trees and then the mangroves at the very end but I don't actually know how those work so I do need to figure that out but yeah I just need to let these all grow up and expand on and then go and find the other tree variants that we do need and yeah pretty much done on this project at the moment and it will slowly expand but I did have to change up a few things one my voice two these slabs, I had to raise it up because when I was walking along and going up and down, up and down, up and down, I was starting to feel a bit sick, especially when doing it all down here. Another thing I had to change up was this. Uh, it turns out that Podso can spread beyond a border of wood around the first four blocks of um, dirt or grass. And it spreads up to this point, which is encroaching on our sort of cherry blossom slabs. So yeah, I was, yeah, I had to change up. That would have really annoyed me. But yeah, now I need to go and find all the other bits and bobs. So I need the cherry. I need the, what's the other one? Azalea. So we need moss in that as well, probably set up a moss farm and then I need the jungle and the dark oak and that should be us. I think that's all the wood types and look at that, one tree grew. But yeah, the amount I have harvested from all of this is just, it's stupid when you actually think about it. That's the amount of spruce. That's the amount of oak, and that's the amount of birch. Like, it's not a lot, but I got a lot of pods, though. But I've got loads of grass, and loads of bits and bobs in here, which is, is handy. But I do need to continue getting the birch all the way up to the same point as the oak, and try and get around to figuring where a cherry and jungle is. <sighs> yeah. It's just a case of looking, but I do need to get the moss stuff sorted because the azaleas are going to produce stuff that I want to use as part of the builds. 